Hello beautiful Scorpios, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, I'm so happy you stopped by. I appreciate all of you. I want to thank all of my beautiful subscribers for their support. And look at that, <laughs> falling out of the deck, Scorpio. All right, so the first card out of the deck is the Four of Swords. This is a you versus them reading. This is their deck, so I'm going to put that card in the place that represents them. We're gonna shuffle your cards just a bit more. They've all been free shuffle, pre-shuffled, but we have Eight of Swords, okay. So Eight of Swords is you're really keeping to yourself. You've put yourself sort of in this self-imposed cage. We can see that you are protected by angels and your person is wounded, they're healing. So whoever you're dealing with at this per point in time is either having a physical health issue, physical or mental healing that is required in their life right now. All right, let's see what your energy is at the present time. That's a recent past. So the present energy between you or how you feel about this person is the Knight of Pentacles. You're happy to move forward slowly. Let's see what their energy is. What is your person's energy? There we go, the Moon card. They're in a state of depression. That's Neptune energy. That is seventh house energy though from Virgo. So while you're willing to work, while you're in a better state of mind overall, you're also feeling and sensing very much that this person needs their space. And they do because they are in a they are healing. Okay. So let's see what we have for the way you view things. The Queen of Wands, beautiful, I love it. Aries Queen, Mars is a ruler of Aries and it is a co-ruler of Scorpio. That is great energy for you, Scorpio. Let's see what we have here for your person. Ah, beautiful Scorpio energy. They are releasing someone from the past. I think for many of you, this may be a new relationship. Let's see what we have for your energy in terms of how you feel about them. How does Scorpio feel about their person? Oh, nice, Knight of Wands. You want to have a, a romantic adventure with them. Isn't that just the best energy? It really speaks so strongly to throwing caution to the winds, enjoying the passion. The Sun card also flipped over. You just want to enjoy and just have happiness, you know. Look at look at this radiant energy on this sun card. It's just gorgeous. It's really all about just feeling the, you know, feeling very passionate. This is a lot of this is Leo energy. This is the Knight of Wands, a Sagittarius energy. Let's see what your person is feeling. They want a victory with you. Leo, Leo and Sagittarius. I think that there's a lot of sexual tension in this relationship between the two of you. Look at that, that's so funny. Okay, so how is your person feeling in their heart space for you? They want to invest. How do you feel in your heart space towards your person? Let's see. Aw, oh, Six of Wands, look at that. You want a victory. You both want a victory. Oh, that's just fantastic. I love the energy. This is the Six of Wands in this deck. This is the Six of Wands in that deck. This is your feeling, that's their feeling. So both of you really want a victory in this connection. How do you feel about what's happening right now and moving forward? The Nine of Cups. Oh, you really have a sweet spot in your heart for this person. Oh, Nine of Cups. Cups are love, as most of you know. And Nine of Cups is eat, drink, and be merry, having fun, being jovial. But one more cup and you have a marriage. So, and here, look at that. We have an Ace of Pentacles, which I think is hilarious because I was speaking about nine and one is 10. 10 is a new beginning. Your person's coming in with the coin. They're coming in with the good Scorpio. The Ace of Coins, you know, something tangible, something you can put between your teeth and kind of, you know, go, yep, it's real. It's real, mate. It's real. Oh, beautiful energy, Scorpio. I'm very excited for you. All right, so let's see what's hidden here for our Scorpio friends. What is hidden for Scorpio? 
what is hidden for Scorpio at this time in this relationship. The Emperor. Oh, Scorpio, look at that energy. You feel as though this person could be a very long-lasting love. I love the fact that the Emperor here has this sort of mustache of branches. It's very charming. He has like a castle on his head. This is a person who's very grounded, who's very earthy. Scorpio, you're coming in with this energy of wanting to be sort of very, uh, you want to take the lead. You want your person to move forward swiftly. We have Aries energy, we have Sagittarius, and we have fire. We have Leo. So you do have a lot of energy right now that just says, I want to progress forward. I want to create something new and extraordinary. I want a victory. I want, uh, I want to really create a very grounded, happy, earthy relationship in which there's a lot of passion and a lot of success. All right, so let's see what we have for your person and the hidden energy that they're experiencing. Well, I'm getting three cards. I'm going to take three cards. Okay, so your person, while you're in this experience in your life with them that says that you're, you know, you've healed. Whatever you've had in the past is healed. Your person, though, is not healing, and this isn't you. There's the energies, for me, this looks as though for most of you, Scorpio, that you're dealing with a new relationship with someone who broke up much more recently than your last significant relationship because your energy is clean, squeaky, clean, healthy, happy, you've done your work, but your person is very much pain, um, depression, having to release, you know, that your person is get, they are finding a victory. They are, you know, coming into being grounded again. But right now what's hidden is that they're still suffering. Somebody stabbed them in the back. There was a third party situation. They may physically be moving in the near future. So let's see what Spirit is advising you at this time, Scorpio. What is Spirit advising? The Two of Wands. Well, it's time to make a choice. And what I see with the Two of Wands for you, Scorpio, is, you know, go ahead and go out with somebody else if you want to. You're holding the world here. You're looking at the moon there. Um, it really speaks to the fact that you're at a crossroads in your life. Spirit will, at some point in the near future, require or suggest that you uh, make a path, a choice on a particular path and take it and move forward. Don't get stuck is the message I'm getting. The Tower card says that your person is still in crisis mode. The Tower card. I like the Tower card. I like the Tower card because... This is Aries energy. We have, you know, we have Aries. It, we have all this fiery energy. And now your person is in the tower mode, which is an epiphany. Your person going, aha. They're having that aha moment. Like, okay, everything that I need to do is now obvious to me. And that's what your person is saying to themselves. It's sort of like when you've been depressed so long, you finally get up out of the bed and go, I'm sick of myself. I'm so depressed. I can't take it anymore. And that's it, it puts fire back in your person's belly. After all of this sort of air sign energy, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Three of Swords, you know, we have the trifecta, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So your person has gone through all of the psychological kind of mind games that they've played with themselves, and they're at this place of feeling like they can release. Your person can release the past now. Let's see what the outcome is, the short-term outcome for you and your person. Four of Cups. Well, you're getting a little bit bored waiting for them, but you also, Scorpio, have a heart of gold. You know, you want to protect them. This is you holding a little umbrella over their head. You understand the process, Scorpio, like nobody else. 
So you're protective of them. The Four of Cups says that you know that they can't really see the situation with you right now. Clearly, they have their back to it. But you're also just in this supportive mode. You don't want them to come forward with you until they're ready. You know, you're you're like saying, I'm going to be here. Don't worry. I want you to mend. I want you to heal. But you, you're offering this beautiful, beautiful protection bubble over this person's head. For you, for your person, they're becoming very Aquarian. So what they're seeing is your person understands that they were obsessed with somebody else and that person manipulated them and that they have to let go of their control issues also. So we're seeing this person in healing mode and they're very much trying to heal this sort of obsessive energy with somebody from the past. Let's look and see what the wisdom of the oracle says. So Scorpio, it looks like you're dating somebody who was freshly out of a relationship and you understand that. They are healing. They are working on this. They're very attracted to you. They really want to invest with you. They're going to make you an offer. They definitely want a victory with you. But I like the investment card. The Seven of Pentacles says that they really see you as a person uh, that is, is somebody who deserves a very beautiful life, that you deserve to have the best. The Nine of Cups energy says that they had a lot of fun when they met you. TikTok, okay. So that really speaks to the fact that time will run out on the relationship if your person doesn't sort of pull it together. Uh, Yang energy, there we go. Your person is coming towards you, Scorpio, Scorpio. They are very aware that they cannot let this relationship sort of just, you know, drift. They understand that, that they have to snap out of this energy. And that's one more card for you. Scorpio, it changes in the wind. Look at that energy. A beautiful change. Wouldn't you like to have a zebra and a birdcage? <laughs> so you have a beautiful reading, Scorpio. You have such deep love and understanding. You're so rich in your ability to give true love, to be true blue, and you are looking to have the same in return. And you have all of this fire. Both of you have the ability to really make this something quite exquisite. Scorpio sending you love. Send some back. Take care. Bye-bye.